Welcome back to Glamour Hosted by me, Josh Smith. And today we are joined by Yasha Shahidi, Alicia Vikanda, Millie Bobby Brown, oh. Elizabeth Moss. It's Margot Robbie! <laughs> Always a treat to see you. Do you feel more like your authentic self sitting here today than you ever have done before? Sitting here wearing a Spice Girls t-shirt talking to you, I feel like the most authentic me. That's a really good question. Yeah. Hmm. You're the first person you that are the first, that. that is the first time no. anyone said that. What's the most extreme thing you've done in order to try and conform to something you thought you should be like? I punished myself and I like, made sure that I didn't eat for like four days. I just wanted to be Jessie. I didn't want to be Jessie the fat one. What has your own relationship with body image been like in order for you to get to that situation? I have suffered with body dysmorphia my whole life. So I, I actually wrote on my mirror when I was younger, fat in lipstick. A 24 year old girl who's out there mm -hmm. in your career, living your life and just being like, I'm natural, who cares? Oh, she's wearing a Chanel jumpsuit, but she's, she's got so, so, so scandalous to quote Mystique. So scandalous. <laughs> so you literally just had your baby, right? And you were still nursing and you went into training immediately for this. What was that like? I wasn't really so concerned about how my tits or butt changed or anything like that. I just felt like, whoa, I feel stronger than I've ever felt in my life. And, and then you walk away feeling like, shit, I'm a warrior. You know, I can do anything. What has your own journey of self-discovery been like for you? I don't want to complain, but I have had things that have made me not feel um, I can breathe. How have you dealt with trolls online? The first three years of being in the group, I would look for it. I was Sir Liam Thunder. Everyone feels like they know you to a certain extent. How do you navigate that yourself in your own lives? So I find myself at times isolating a little bit, but if you stay home for too long, you will become isolated yeah. and lose touch with what's going on in the real world. And I think labels are so damaging in so many ways to people and their identity and themselves. How's that played out in your own life? I have ADD and that label did not suit me. People tried to tell me about my own brain and my own mind my entire life. And I think that that's really destructive. How has your relationship with this idea of cancel culture changed and how do you think we can get past the negative aspects of cancel culture? It's gonna sound harsh, but cancel culture exists within an echo chamber of ego. It can only exist if you are canceling someone on the basis that you think that you are perfect. Jenny, you've gone on with anxiety from like the start till now. How has your self-confidence grown in order to take steps to overcome it? When I first started experiencing the panic attacks, I, I developed a fear of being on my own. I just wouldn't be able to leave the house without feeling normal. What's it feel like in that moment when it happens? My throat closes and then I'm certain that I can't breathe. Mm. This is how I'm going to die, like right here, right now, just panicking. When it was at its hardest, what was it like for you? I thought I was going to die. I thought my family were going to die. <laughs> there was, it was a mixture of a lot of things though, like OCD. As your job, you have this negative news coming in every single day. How on earth do you manage your own mental health in that situation? Yeah, I've got to keep my mental health uh, positive. Uh, and that part of that is talking to people like you, uh, spend time with my immediate family or I can spend time with talking to my mum, my siblings. What would you want to say to all the young girls and boys out there? It's okay to be different and when people tell you no, you say actually yes and you keep going and you believe in yourself. You can never dream too big. Mm. I was told no constantly. If mm. I can do it, then anyone can yeah. do it. But what has your own relationship with body image been like throughout your whole Life. I think I was most comfortable with my body when I was in a relationship with women because there wasn't a sense of comparison. It's like we were different. If you could put one message out there, what would you want to say? I was going to say smart yeah. girls are horny. Smart girls are horny. <laughs> the shaming has to stop. Yeah. And, the, and the assumptions about if, if you're horny, you must be stupid or unserious in some way. At the end of the day, we're all thirsty. <laughs> Thank Let's you. Go, <laughs> How difficult do you find it to do those kind of sex scenes. With a coordinator on set, we, we blocked everything, we rehearsed everything like a fight scene. What kind of sexism have you faced in your lives and how do you shut it down mm. when you're approached by it? Women have to uh, kind of um, 
realize and embrace that communication is uh, hard and something that is very unique to the female experience. It's just an awful feeling being like the annoying girl who's like being cautious, like, no, 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 no. yo, you know. Because there's not enough respect in society for women making their own choices. Yeah, which exactly. Is insane. A choice about how you want to live your life and choice about who you want to love and choice about, you know, what we're supposed to stand for. Mm. How do you kick everyday sexism in the balls like these characters do every single time? Took a long hard look at myself a couple years ago and I thought, okay, what are your strengths? How can you do something positive and play to your strengths? So I realized that I am better you know, doing it through my work. Yeah. Do people slide into your DMs quite regularly? You that? know what? Drake slid into my DMs. Woo! His daddy hit me up though and I turned his dad down. So, you know, I might end up being Drake's stepmama. Boss is playing some serious mind games. Okay. Mm -mm. How can I outmaneuver him and come out as the top dog? Seriously, I used to have a part-time job and, and, and the, the woman mm. hated me. I mean, I just, I, I hated the job as well, but... What was that job? Tesco. I think it was probably because I was hungover. I want your boob out. That can be arranged. 